Greetings, this is your Project One uh, critique. We're going to look at uh, Kate's work here. And uh, one of the first ones that jumps out at me when I look at this is, is this image. It's bright, it is bold, uh, it's fairly abstract. Uh, I like how the, the hands interact with all the, uh, the tools, the art creating tools. It, I like how it pushes portraiture in a different way where it isn't just your face that defines you. No, it, it's who you are. It's the actions. It's what you do. Um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's something more than just what you look like. Uh, so I appreciate this portrait uh, for that, those the characteristics. It's also well composed. My favorite one, though, is, is this one. Um, it's not as bright or bold. It doesn't just you know draw me and say, look at me right away. But I come to it fairly quickly because I see how the figure is interacting with the environment. And probably, I don't know if it just really personally appeals to me because I'm an environment landscape sort of guy. Um, but th this image is the one I, I want to look at. And I really appreciate the composition. Um, I like how you've integrated yourself into it. Uh, the figure, you know, is uh, vertical just like the trees, so there's a nice balance between these three uh, tree trunks and you function almost as a, as a trunk. Um, I like that the flowers and the leaves are in front of you, and they really break up the space, and they really cause everything to merge together. There's not this separation between humans and nature in this image. They're all sort of one, uh, so I appreciate that sort of ecological message. Um, and I just like the photograph, too. I think it's also well composed. It's, it's funny, you are actually right in the middle, but it doesn't feel that way because this tree's offset. Uh, there's this tree and there's a tree. There's a really uh, nice balance and it's really dynamic and really keeps me moving. So that image I like quite a bit. Uh, with this one, uh, I think it works all well, too. It's well composed. Um, it has a companion color version here. I think between the two, I actually prefer the, the black and white. It might be pushed just a little too far. The, the whites are just a little too white, and there's a little loss of texture. But overall, I like how this you know, puts the emphasis on, um, you know, there's, there's more emphasis on, on all these, these textures. Um, and there are a lot of interesting textures and objects in here, and they seem to be, you know, older uh, objects. And then you're sitting there um, with what looks like fresh coffee and a glass of wine, so it's nice yin and yang and balance between those two things. Um, those two things are almost a little, you know, they're, they're playful, and uh, it almost, to me, seems like it could get a little overly done too playful. But it doesn't come across that way, and I think part of it is how everything interacts with the environment. You know, the, the cup actually, you know, these are really stark whites, and I want a little texture in them, but they actually help balance out that, that cup. And then we have the wine, we have the dark clothing. Um, so there's a nice balance in this image. Uh, I think the color one is probably just as su su successful. I react more positively to the grayscale. I don't know, I just, maybe I just tend to like grayscale imagery. Um, this works well too though, I mean there's no colors aren't clashing, that can be difficult in photography because we're often looking at the world and we can't just rearrange the world how we want to unless we get into Photoshop or really start moving things around. So that's a big challenge in photography, it, you know, it's not like a painter, we can just pick the colors that we want to work together. No, we're left with what's out there and, and have to make those to work well. They work well together, I just prefer overall in the end the grayscale. Uh, the last one, this, these two images, again, we have a grayscale and color version. I do think the images are composed really well. I like how you break up the space, like the rectangle, another rectangle. Overall, you know, they um, resonate with the overall rectangular format. I like the triangle here, the other triangle here. In the end, though, it gets a little too cluttery, I think, for me down at the bottom. Also, it's a little soft. The image itself is a little soft. I really noticed this in the grayscale for some reason. It comes across how uh, soft. And I think the shutter speed was just a little bit slow, and maybe you moved, or the camera moved, or somebody was holding it, or the tripod got bumped, or whatever it was. Uh, something went wrong in here, and there's a softness that, that um, I don't like. And also, I think it might just be a little too, you know, much stuff going on down here. Uh, and I can't really crop it. Maybe a little bit. Well, maybe if I crop it, like, right there. Maybe that gets better. So, anyways, it's not quite as successful the, as the other images. But, you, you know, you've got, I think, three really successful images. And one I really like quite a bit. So...
All right, well, those are some thoughts for you, Kate. I'm going to move on and talk about Amy's. Uh, Amy, uh, would be nice next project if you can get everything into a uh, album so I know exactly which ones you I feel are your best and uh, looking at thinking about but I'll just go through these and, and select the ones that I react most positively towards like this one I like this image my comments uh, I think still stand as I look at it again I want to crop out the right side it doesn't make the image bad but I think it just gets better it gets stronger if we get rid of that information a little bit of information over here puts more emphasis just on the interaction and face and the hair and the all the, the hanging things. Um, I like how they're in front of you and it breaks it up and it, you know, it's, it's not just this straight up portrait and you're not dominating it, you're a part of this world, part of this environment. And I kind of like that message. Maybe I just like that message in general if we think back to the, the previous critique I just gave to Kate. Uh, this image also jumped out to me. I like how you're positioning that shadow. Um, and you know the light in the wall i want to crop out the little griller on the left here i don't want to lose this line though i like this shadow the dark and then the light um the foot might be a little uh blurry i can't decide if the foot's too blurry not blurry enough or if it's okay um it doesn't destroy the photograph but i i would like to see it pushed you know i i, I think it might actually be interesting if this were even more blurry and uh, this one stayed sharp. That might make it more interesting. Or uh, maybe they both better sharp. So, all right. So that image stood out to me. Uh, the other image that I really uh, appreciated was this one. I like how you're framing it. Uh, I like how it's offset. We have a little bit of framing here. And we have this rug, this frame, but then your hair is all over in here. And the curvilinear lines of the rug and the curvilinear lines of your hair. And I like how the face is cropped off. I don't see the whole thing. I don't see any figure. I don't see anything else. It comes across really as flat and sort of abstract and just part of this environment. And I like that feel. Um, you know, I just look at the shapes of the glasses and, and the shape of the face and then the hair moving out and then all these lines. The one thing I would probably recommend would be to actually get this uh, squared up, looking straight down at this rug so that we have the same amount of concrete space here and here. That might be, you know, it doesn't sound like, oh, it's, you know, it sounds like an easy thing to say, but it might be difficult to achieve because you'd have to be straight above it. And if you're using a tripod, that's difficult. Most tri tripods don't do that. Um, and if you have a person doing that, that's also difficult to get right above someone and shoot straight down unless you've got a ladder or a deck or something like that. Um, but those little details in the end, I think, are the difference between a really successful photograph and a pretty good photograph. Um, so that was would be one thing I would consider. So, like I said, it does tend to make it a bit more challenging. So um, I, I, you know, also uh, kind of like this image. I don't know why the panda was bad, but uh, I'll see if we'll click on it here. Uh, I appreciate this image. Uh, I like the uh, I like the informal feel to it. You know. Um, I like the lines, the vertical lines, the fence, the organic tree, the figure off to the right. Uh, maybe a little bit more light on the figure might, might help, but overall I think the composition's done well and uh, you know allows me to get more information. You know, so I think that that one. I, I do like this one better than this one. I don't know. Maybe you know, just thinking portraiture and smiling. Uh, image like this, I just want to crop off maybe right here. This, uh, there's a little too much stuff going on in it. Um, I don't want to lose too much of the hair, though. But, yeah, I don't know. So, All right, anyways, those are some thoughts for you, Amy. Uh, we'll start really looking forward to the next project.